Hi, this is Dell from Indie Indie Review, and today I'm going to be doing an updated review on the CFBF Cold Press Juicer. Dell from Indie Indie Reviews. Um, I, I thought it right to do an updated review on the CFBF Cold Press Juicer. I also had brought the Cannoli uh, Juicer as well, which I didn't get an opportunity to review, and I'll mention why um, here shortly. But what I wanted to say, I'm going to keep this video, you know, sweet, short, and simple. I ended up having to return the CFBF Cold Press Juicer. I'm doing an updated review on it because I know um, in my comments, some people had a comment on my last video that I did of it saying that they had went out and, and bought it. And while I'm happy that they, you know, purchased it, um, I, hope, I hope it works out for them. Um, I can't say the same for myself. It didn't work out for me. I had the first one for about one and a half, two weeks, and then it died on me. Um, while I was juicing, so I ordered another one, and like that one, like, like the first one, it also died, so I ended up having just to return it and get a um, refund from Amazon from the company, and so next, I thought, well, maybe it's just that brand, so I ordered the, the, the Cannoli Cold Press Juicer, and that one, I will say, was it's actually much easier to clean, but unfortunately, I ended up having to return that one as well. Um, it died on me. I, I believe the second time I used it, it died on me, they ordered me an, uh, a replacement model. They sent it to me, and the replacement model didn't work at all. It didn't cut on. Um, I tried everything. I, um, I had contacted the company via email, and, you know, they just said, well, try this and try that. And I was like, well, you know, I, I owned the first juicer. You know, I, I, had, I already had one, so I'm already familiar with, the, you know, how to connect it and how to, you know, cut it on. So I don't think that was it. But one of the things that I, I did want to note is that, and my wife actually brought this to my attention, is that the actual base of the uh, the Kanoe cold press juicer, it, it was very like light. I felt like the actual base that juiced the actual um, um juice and, and the uh, and the auger, I felt like that part was actually more heavier than the actual base of the juicer itself, which has the motor inside of it. So maybe I think well, what I think is just it's just cheap component parts inside the actual juicer. Um, I will say. Me and my family, we live a lifestyle of juicing. I usually juice a gallon to a gallon and a half of juice a week, and it lasts me about a week. I know, you know, I'm not sure if people who actually bought those juices juice that much, you know, or maybe maybe they juice that much, but they just juice every day or a few times a week just, just to kind of make up for it. So maybe um, in the company's defense, the juicer wasn't really meant to be juiced that much, but I felt like that probably should have been mentioned in, in in the instructions or on their um page on Amazon that should have been that should have been mentioned that hey juiced a quart a, a day or juice you know whatever 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 the case may be but I just felt like it really wasn't um it really didn't cut out for me I had to having to return that one as well and getting a refund and finally me and my wife just ended up ordering the um Nama J2 juicer it just came in the mail on Wednesday I haven't used it yet I usually juice on Saturdays. I, like I said before, I, I juice about a gallon to a gallon and a half a week. Um, that let me last me and my family, you know, uh, five to six days, depending on, you know, how much we drink during the week. We live a lifestyle of juicing for, you know, just for health reasons and things like that. But I just wanted to kind of make this review because I know, like I said before, I would feel bad if somebody who watched my review of the CFBF juicer went out and, and, and purchased it. And I didn't at least tell them, that, hey, well, I bought it. Two units died on me as it relates to the Kenobi juicer. It died on me as well in the middle of juicing. And, um, you know, I actually ended up having to go out and, and buy a, a juicer until the Noma came in. I had to go go to Target and buy a juicer. And I'll leave the photos to that right, right up here above so you, so you can see that. But this the, um, the, that juicer, I'm not going to do a review on it. But I will say um, it's an old school juicer, you know, with the blade. And it does juice good, but the the thing that I will say is that it doesn't render as much juice, and it leaves a lot of pulp, a lot of pulp. The cold press juicers that, that I kind of you know use, they they render a lot of juice, and they don't leave too much pulp. So again, there from any any reviews, you know, I just wanted to kind of just give an updated review. I just wanted to be honest and transparent. So yes, I went through four cold press juicers, and. One thing I will say is upon having a conversation with my, I was, I was me and my wife were at dinner at, at a buddy in my house, him and his wife, his wife had cooked dinner for us. We were over there just hanging out and I was kind of mentioning it to, to them 
And his wife was like, well, you know, if you really juice that much, you know, you should really just go ahead and invest the money in an actual expensive juicer. And my buddy was like, well, how much money? You know, I was telling him, you know, the number, you know, it's five some 500 something bucks. They were like, man, that's a lot of money. And his wife was like, well, honey, we spent like 460 for our juicer. He was like, oh, I didn't know that. So I, I think that what I will say is that if you're somebody that actually lives a lifestyle of juicing, as far as you juice a lot of juice at one time, just go ahead and spend the money and get a, a, a expensive juicer. I know the average person can't really afford to do that. I know Noma, they have payment plans on their website for those who don't want to just spend a five hundred dollars up front. But I will say that I think in the long long run and in, 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 in the long haul, it will serve you much better. A lot of these juicers on Amazon, they are unfortunately made from Chinese companies. We all know that Chinese companies have been made have been known to make cheap products. Unfortunately, you know, um, me and my wife, we, we shop off Timu, you know, and sometimes some of the items that we buy, you know, they work. Sometimes they don't. I think that's just the price of you pay for buying cheap stuff. You know, you, they say you get what you pay for, you know. Now, I know a lot of people argue, well, you know, the the um, the, the, the CFBF juicer is a hundred something dollars. Yes, you're right, you know, but in the grand scheme of cold press juicers, that is fairly cheap, you know. And like I said, you know, initially, when I held the base by itself, it felt like, like it felt, it felt like it was empty in the inside as far as any kind of um, motor components. So, you know, and I, I will show you real quick on screen, the CF BF juicer and the, and, and the Kenobi juicer, both of them, which were cold pressed real quick. As you can see, I bought the CF BF cold press juicer on May 18th of this year. The brand's right here, CFBF, black. I, like I said, I bought it. It stopped working, had, uh, so I returned it, got, a, got another one, and that stopped working as well. And here's the other one, the cannoli one. I will say the cannoli one is a breeze to clean. It's a breeze to clean. Um, but again, I bought it. It stopped working on me. I returned it. They sent me a replacement, a replacement model. Like that also, their replacement model didn't, didn't even work at all. So I just ended up returning it and counting my loss. And after having a conversation with my um, my buddy and his wife and, and my own wife, of course, um, I just we just ended up and um, bought the Noma J2, which I would do a review on that pretty soon. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what it looks like. And just to, just to, be, just to be leery, as you can see, it has number one, and this one is not number one. <laughs> so both of them, again, which I bought one each and end up having to get a replacement uh, um, a model for each of them. So altogether, I've had four juicers. And this probably was about, a, uh, I'll say, a month and a half, two-month span. And you'll actually see the, the dates above, you know, on my Amazon page of when I purchased them. So, you know, I'm, I'm not just I'm not just lying to you. I'm, I'm not just, you know, at one point I told my wife I was actually like, um, I was kind of like worried if Amazon was going to kind of, Watch me as a scammer, and my wife was like, "Well, no, you know, you don't really have the, the background to, you know, to, you know, you don't have the background of returning things, and when you do, it's for genuine reasons. So, you know, when you start to return things, cause I return what two juicers. So initially, they sent me four juicers, you know, within a span of a month, a month and a half. So I was like, wow, they might think I'm like like a scammer or something. But you know, unfortunately, like I said before, they while juicing, they did juice fairly well." They just didn't last, you know. Um, maybe I put too. Maybe I overworked them. I don't know. Um, I, prefer, I said I, I just personally think they were just cheap juicers. If you want to go out and purchase them, I would say do so at your own risk. But I would also say that um, learn from my mistakes. Don't don't try to juice a gallon, a gallon and a half, because maybe what I did without knowing it was overwork the engine or or, or, or I'm sorry, overwork the, the motor in the actual juicer, and I I didn't know. That's it. If that was the case, the company. Should have been up front and say, hey, it's recommended that you juice A, B, C, and D amount of juice uh, a day, a liter, or whatever. They should, a quart. They shouldn't have been upfront about that. But unfortunately, you know, that didn't happen. And, you know, again, t to the to the person that, you know, j recently bought the CF BF cold press juicer, I hope it works out well for you. Thank you for commenting and supporting, you know, my page. Um, and again, um, I hope you don't have the same experience as I did. It is rated for number one. Um, um, on the Amazon for, for selling. It's rated number one for selling. Again, I will say that I don't think the average person will juice 
much as me and my family does. And if they do, I think that 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 person or persons would just go out and just spend four to five hundred dollars for actual expensive juices, so they don't run into those issues. I do plan on doing an unboxing video of the Noma J2. It just came in the mail on Wednesday. I haven't opened it yet. Like I said, I don't be juice on Saturday and lasts me for the whole week. So I'll, I'll probably use it uh, tomorrow, and I'll you know do a, a video of maybe of me unboxing or maybe me juicing. You know, so, and I'll keep you guys updated on how that performs if it holds up to me juicing a gallon, a gallon and a half a week. So until then, there from any, any reviews. Thank you for, you know, watching my video and supporting the channel. Please like it if you like the material and, and, and the content. I would appreciate it. Until next time, peace.